Hello everybody. Welcome to the RPC Authority Groups of Interest Orientation. This orientation contains information on various organizations and groups that have some similarity to the Authority, and that they are known to deal with the paranormal and the occult. While many other organizations exist to suppress paranormal activities, there are those who use the paranormal as a means to achieve a larger agenda, and may be considered as a rival towards the Authority. Their objectives and methods are monitored and documented by the Authority to understand their true goal within the paranormal world, and, in some cases, stop them from destroying humanity as a whole. Threat Code Affiliations Proxy The group is under direct control by the Authority. Allied The group is consistently cooperative with and or helpful to the Authority. Neutral the group had little or no affiliation with the Authority. Ambiguous. The group displays variant or contradictory affiliation with the Authority. Hostile. The group is motivated to harm or destroy humanity and or the Authority. Unknown. The group has unknown motives in relation to the Authority. Attributes. Authority aware. The group is aware of the existence of the Authority. Veiled. The group is unaware of the existence of the Anomalous. Unveiled. The group is aware of the existence of the Anomalous. Seeker. The group actively collects anomalies. Sculptor. The group is capable of creating anomalies. Structured. The group has a defined, hierarchical structure. Fractured. The group does not have a defined, hierarchical structure. Multinational. The group spans multiple nations. National. The group exists within a single nation. Local. The group only exists within a small localized area or areas. Church of Malthus. Hostile. Authority aware. Unveiled. Seeker. Sculptor. Fractured. Multinational. Overview. Some see the medical progress of the human species over the past millennia and increases in both length and quality of life as a failing of modern life rather than a strength. Some even believe that it is the responsibility of humanity to self-correct and evolve further. The Church of Mount is such a society of biologists and radicals from many scientific fields united under the idea that if it is to continue and thrive, humanity requires progress forced upon itself. Whether through catastrophic events large-scale genetic manipulation, or the culling of quote, hereditarily weak, unquote, populations. They have worked tirelessly to acquire anomalous objects and engineer events capable of eliminating or irrevocably altering vast amounts of the global population in order to accomplish their objectives. The RPC Authority considers this organization a major threat to its business, objectives, and by extension to humanity as a whole. As such, the Authority has deemed it necessary that any COM personnel be captured or shot on sight, and has abandoned any concentrated attempts to negotiate or treat with them. Amazing Co. Unknown. Authority Aware. Unveiled. Sculptor. Fractured. Multinational. Overview. Similar to many bootleg companies based out of developing nations, Amazing Co. is a company that produces miscellaneous off-brand commercial products, ranging from food items to musical instruments and children's toys. These items invariably possess anomalous properties and, more often than not, pose a threat to both the user and those around them. The packaging of Amazing Co. products often resemble well-known brands, even to the extent of copying mascots and slogans. The only consistent marker of their products is the Amazing Co. logo, which has been confirmed to be a mimetic agent with the effect of enticing those who look at it to purchase the associated product despite their better judgment. The country of origin of Amazing Co. cannot be presently determined. Manufactories suspected of being connected to the group have been discovered on every continent save Antarctica. Information shared from multiple governments has suggested that Amazing Co. shipped products to every nation in the native language of the region, and that there are obvious spelling and grammar errors in all versions of the products, no matter the language. To date, 
No person knowingly under the employ of Amazing Co. has been apprehended, and no person found to be selling one of their products can recall ever stocking them or meeting a representative of the company. Global Enterprise for Advanced Research Ambiguous Authority Aware Unveiled Sculptor Structured Multinational Overview Gear is a large-scale consumer products company which employs a variety of anomalous manufacturing techniques in its production lines. The heads and operating personnel of Gear live in secrecy and, it is presumed, considerable luxury, but have demonstrated a capacity for canny negotiation and political maneuvering that has ensured the survival of the company. Gear personnel are highly motivated, capable and, if not an immediate threat to the Authority, willing to cross ethical, political, and social boundaries to achieve their goals. Gear has invested heavily in militaristic defense, research, and secrecy. Authority leads to the location of Gear facilities are often led to dead ends. It is believed that Gear is capable of relocating entire production lines and other operations within short time spans through an extremely efficient logistic network. Whether or not this network relies on anomalous methods is unknown. The Children of Nihil Hostile Authority Aware Unveiled Seeker Sculptor Structured Multinational Overview The Children of Nihil is a religious group that reveres the cleansing nature of floods and believes that through metamorphic trials and natural disasters, they can create a utopian society free from the decadence and corruption of humanity. The organization specializes in exploiting paranormal artifacts tied to historical flood mythologies, but this has not kept them from utilizing other anomalous religions and religious artifacts. They function as a conquering religion, prepared to absorb and assimilate other religious groups to reinforce their own position in an area, acquire new converts, or gain access to anomalous artifacts. All adherents share two fundamental tenets. One is that Nihil serves as a spiritual state of transcendence and a deity, governing the concept of obliteration and nothingness. The other is that adherents are merely vessels, and that through continual service to Nihil and asceticism, they may ascend to become one with their venerable god. They believe that once all sects are under their banner, they may finally resurrect the dead sun, an aspect of Nihil from the depths. This apocalyptic deity will guide them to bring about a single reality-ending flood. Sects of the Children of Nihil are numerous and prone to religious divisions, infighting, and endless variations of dogma. Righteous Central Protection Authority Hostile Authority Aware Unveiled Seeker Sculptor Structured Local The Righteous Centralized Protection Authority RCPA, widely referred to as the Authoritarians, is an alternate timeline iteration of the Authority that has openly seized control of their world. Initially motivated by the desire to protect humanity more completely and efficiently, they have long grown corrupted and arrogant in their dominance. Embracing the use of the anomalous to their own ends, the RCPA's ethos of quote, justice unquote, has been twisted into a creed that demonizes rogue anomalies and dissidents indiscriminately together as quote, villains, unquote. Recently, certain links between the RCPA timeline and our own have opened. Their presence in our world has been actively combated, as their creed of justice and utter lack of subtlety are antithesis to our authority. The RCPA hires or creates anomalous persons on a wide scale to enforce its rule, known as protectors. Many are idolized in state propaganda. While most protectors combat rogue and destructive anomalies, often more powerful than counterparts in our timeline due to the open and widely available nature of the anomalous, others aid their ASF in suppressing various local insurgencies against the global power of the Authority. Kabuski Kawaii Unknown Authority Aware Unveiled Sculptor Structured Multinational Overview Kabuski Kawaii is an underground black market company which specializes in humanoid anomalies. The company's main focus is the creation, training, and sales of these anomalies. 
selling them as servants to wealthy customers or corporations. Kabuski Kawaii is known for its ability to create anomalous humanoids, which are primarily sold into the sex trade. These anomalous humanoids, primarily females, are the company's biggest export, who, through a combination of genetic manipulation, brainwashing, and intimidation, are often groomed to act as an individual's ideal sex slave or servant, depending on what is specified by the customer. The exact method that Kabuski uses to create these products is unknown, but it is implied to be a mixture of biological science and anomalous technology. The reach of Kabuski's genetic manipulation extends beyond the ability to create humanoid anomalies, but the company focuses on humanoids due to their popularity. Although the main storefronts of Kabuski Kawaii are known to reside somewhere in Japan, the company has offices laboratories, and testing centers scattered across the world. Assistance from anomalous items, front companies, and under-the-table dealings are commonly used to prevent discovery. Individuals stumbling across the group by mistake are often bribed into silence, or become products themselves. Kabuski Kawaii is strictly focused on maintaining a low profile, and will not actively confront the authority, but will make every attempt to stay hidden when discovered. Authority agents who have attempted to infiltrate Kabuski laboratories have been rumored to become victims of their experimentation, although this cannot be fully confirmed. The Authority works to apprehend any anomalies created by Kabuski Kawaii for questioning and proper containment. Should a front company, laboratory, or testing center be identified, Authority forces are to clear the location and recover any anomalies or files found for research and containment purposes. New Core Industries Allied Authority Aware Unveiled Sculpture Structured Multinational Overview Founded in 1914, New Core Industries began as an applied scientific research company, specializing in licensing their inventions and techniques to other companies. New Core came to the attention of the Authority in 1939, when they sold a substantial volume of technical material on the production of nuclear piles of the U.S. government, including the copyright on the concept of the nuclear reactor. The Authority approached Nucor after the end of the Second World War, offering a partnership with their obviously advanced manufacturing and applied materials sciences division. Under this agreement, the Authority and Nucor established a joint manufacturing facility in 1956, which was subsequently utilized for the Battle Carrier Project ending in the late 1970s. New Corps remains a valuable partner to the Authority, which frequently relies on their industrial base and expertise in reverse engineering anomalous technologies. GARD-DAFA Hostile Authority Aware Unveiled Seeker Sculptor Fractured National Overview The German Anomalous Research Division was established by the leaders of the German National Socialist Workers' Party NSDAP, in collaboration with former hardline members of the Reich Occult of Teilung, shortly after their consolidation of power. GARD was created as a regional containment agency, which would work alongside the Authority. Relations swiftly broke down when it was discovered that GARD was actively weaponizing anomalous objects. The German branch of the Authority which had developed considerable national ties to the German government, sided with the NSDAP. Fearing a revolt, a decision was quickly met to transport all movable anomalies in Europe to lesser invasion-prone countries, such as the United States and South Africa. Ultimately, the German branch of the Authority would sever ties with the parent organization in 1937 and merge with GARD. During and before the Second World War, GARD operated two primary branches. Ananerba specialized in anomalous science, population control, and eugenics, while Swartz's son focused on occultic practices and applied mythology. GARD operated under direct military control, with a commanding general answering directly to Hitler and the German High Command. The outbreak of war in 1939 led to the formation of the RPC Authority Volunteer Army for the Allied Forces. RAVAAF, composed of members of the Authority, 
MI-13, and former members of the FOA, which would act as agents within resistance cells and military units to report or combat any weaponized anomalies created by Guard, and possibly contain or neutralize them. Raids on Guard facilities by the RAVAAF were common throughout the war, but it was not until 1944 that MST Alpha-1 operatives were able to assassinate the organization's command staff. The resultant mismanagement, combined with attempts by individual Guard units to seize command of the organization, led to chaos in the lower ranks and substantial loss of support among the upper echelons of the German government. The exact size and composition of Guard in the present day remains unclear. The organization has greatly decreased in size in the Second World War, and most of its original personnel are either incarcerated by the UNAAC or dead. Guard cell activity is fleeting and unpredictable, giving little indication of whether they still exist as a coherent organization. Lesser Groups of Interest Overview. This document contains various organizations and groups that have some similarity to the Authority, and were known to deal with the paranormal and the occult. They have since been defunct, gone dark, or become too small of a threat to dictate a larger categorization. Navaldi Allied Authority Aware Unveiled Overview Certainly one of the oldest groups of interest known to the Authority. The Nivaldi claim to be a cabal of individuals who have safeguarded the general population against the negative impacts of catastrophic impacts, such as the Great Flood and the Black Death. The Nivaldi's secular mission is to warn humanity of catastrophes, laying the groundwork for a practical response taken by society as a whole. The Nivaldi only made formal contact with the Authority recently, and their methods, as well as the extent of their power base, remain unclear. Nivaldi warnings about events have generally proven to be correct, but the lack of clarity about their true intentions remains. The Academy of True Art Ambiguous Authority Aware Unveiled Sculptor Structured National The Academia della Vera Arte, or the Academy of True Art, is an art school of European origin, although attempts to actually physically locate it have thus far proved unsuccessful. The Academy's membership includes numerous anomalous and non-anomalous individuals, and is believed to include various widely known and famous artists, past and present. Members frequently operate under a variety of aliases, chosen for its thematic connections to the medium and style of art created by the artist. Since the discovery of the Academy and their production of anomalous artworks, the Authority has become aware of a significant community operating against the Academy in large part consisting of those either rejected by or banned from operating under the Academy's auspices. Many of these artists produce anomalous works which are volatile, dangerous, and unpredictable. The Academy has been compliant in providing information leading to the capture of the artists and the containment of their works, and has made it clear that such works go against the Academy's goals of creating anomalous art without disrupting the fabric of society. The Academy's main goal is the promulgation of low-level anomalous artworks. They have consistently operated under the slogan, Reality is our canvas, throughout their recorded history, and tend to produce anomalies which involve novel but non-harmful physics or reality alteration hazards. While the capture and interrogation of members of the Academy is of moderate priority to the Authority, their continued cooperation in identifying rogue elements must be kept in mind. Rejected or former Academy members are high-priority capture targets, especially if they have, or are in the process of, producing anomalous artwork. Association for Ecclesiastical Primacy Ambiguous Authority Aware Unveiled Seeker Structured Multinational Overview The AEP is a highly secretive multinational fringe organization originating from those members of the Papal Octoritas Impertus, who rejected the secularization of that organization into the modern authority in 1834. It is believed that the group's methods, scope, and organizational structure have changed dramatically throughout their history. The sources of the AEP's substantial funds remain unclear, as is the nature of its leadership. Despite their European religious roots, the group has become substantially more multinational and secular in nature.
though it maintains a solid core of hardline conservative Christian personnel operating outside the purview of the Vatican. The AEP possesses extremely extensive intelligence-gathering networks, which likely exceed the authorities' own in reach and capacity. Though the organization actively seeks out and contains anomalies, their criteria for doing so and the purpose to which they are employed remain unclear. AEP officials have shown willingness to collaborate with other entities of interest, including the Authority and the UNAAC. Though only for short periods of time, and usually under extremely specific circumstances, the current scale and goal of the AEP remains unclear to the Authority, due to a heavily hierarchical leadership system that encourages the spread of internal disinformation in the guise of a cabalist secret society. Different ranks and orders within the AEP have shown a degree of internal competitiveness that verges on internecine conflict, but in all cases, any external action to suppress or infiltrate the AEP power structure have resulted in a unified and well-organized response from all branches of the organization. An obsession with the number 5 is endemic within the organization's members, whether references to, quote, the 5, unquote, within AEP documentation are to a group of individuals. A code of values, or some other esoteric concept, is as yet unknown.